So welcome back to Practical Not Tactical. So today is the 26th of January and it's Australia Day and it's getting hot outside. Got some preparations for some celebrations a bit later on. But it's getting hot in this shed right now. So let's get in and quickly knock out this video. And today's video is going to be on one of my most favourite rifles out of my collection. And this is the little Model 150 Winchester 22 long rifle. So during this video I'm going to talk about uh, this rifle. I'm going to talk about some of the other variants in this budget range of rifles that Winchester made at the same time. So I'm hoping you get uh, some good information and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video, so stay with me. Okay, so the Model 150 made by Winchester. Now these were um, one in a series of budget 20 uh, rimfire rifles that uh, Winchester started manufacturing uh, from about 1963, 1964 through to about 1974. And there was different variants. Uh, uh, this was the Model 150 and probably the most basic. Uh, then there was a model 250 and the difference between the 150 and the 250 is the 150 had this more American style straight wrist uh, a fairly plain uh, Front timber section whereas the 250 had more of a pistol grip come down the back and a shaped sort of finger gripped um, fore end here and the 250s had some stip uh, stippling carved into the timber both on the uh, grips at front and back and then there was actually a model 250 deluxe again which I've seen a picture of one of those and it's got like a cheek weld on this side as well so there was the 150 and 250 which were both lever actions and the 250 being having a pistol grip this uh, finger uh, opening here was was shaped with the pistol grip as well then there was the model 190 which looked the same as this but it was semi-auto uh, and the 290 which again had the pistol grip shape uh, and was the semi-auto and then there was a model 270 which was a slide action with the front slide operating the uh, the action in the middle I never, I've never seen or never read anything about a model 170 I don't know why they didn't make the plain version in the slide action but maybe because at the same time Savage made a Model 170 as well, so maybe that's the only reason. There was a also a Model 255, and the 255 was again was a lever action, but it was in 22 Magnum. Okay, so these sort of come about uh, when Winchester was sort of running in a bit of financial problems uh, in the mid early to mid 60s, and they just simply couldn't afford to make some of the guns like their Model 70 uh, and even their Model 94 to the same sort of manufacturing standards it just wasn't cost effective they were being out competed by other companies so they devised this uh, this rifle here so the difference being is this receiver is a alloy or aluminium based alloy receiver and it's the same receiver for all the models so what they're able to do is modular this series of rifles so that you only had to put in a different trigger pack uh, and obviously the uh, charging handle for the semi-auto etc and make some slight differences that would uh, still use the same receiver for all the different models um, a lot of them had this metal rear sight but then there were some that actually came out with a plastic sight with like a rotating uh, circular disc under here which raised the rear sight this one's got one of the older um, metal sights um, the timbers it's kind of a hardwood but it's not like a it's not like a dark heavy hardwood it's kind of a cheaper type and it's got a plastic butt stock on the rear end which is quite functional for a 22 so really only the steel parts on it are the barrel the magazine tube outer tube 
the barrel band there and the rear and the sling swivels are metal but all of this in here is all alloy needless to say what they didn't scrimp on didn't not scrimp but they didn't uh, didn't change was the quality of the barrel okay and that's that's one of the most important things that make a good 22 is the quality of the barrel you can see how thick and heavy this little short barrel is and this gun is really accurate and whenever I give uh, friends and family an opportunity or anybody to shoot this rifle they're all really impressed with how accurate it is and how they just they just put the sights on on the target and they hit it every time so it's got a great barrel on it really heavy profile there um, they're all tube fed tube magazine fed and this one's got a a brass end on it which is a little different other ones have got like a steel end on here and this one's got a brass end but the magazine tube comes out it's got that usual spring loaded thing that looks like a golf tee in there that keeps the bullets pushing down the magazine tube it's really simple to disassemble for cleaning what you got to do is just pop that out just pop this uh, plastic pin out that goes from one side to another like that pull out that plastic pin and the whole trigger group and bolt falls out you see it sort of stays together like that the typical bolt face with an extractor and an eject and the firing pin. Firing pin on this side. The extractor on this side. But the bolt's basically the same for all the different models. And it's just this trigger pack that slightly changes between the semi-auto and the slide and the lever versions got a cross bolt safety there which is quite positive actually it's a quite positive um, action and I'll show you that in a second but it's not hard to clean this basically you just take the trigger pack out like that you can take the bolt off of there like that just clean all these parts up maybe give it a bit of a spray but otherwise, it's really simple to go back together. It just sits on there. Pull the hammer back. And the hammer just holds it all together like that. To put it back together. Usually it doesn't get very dirty. The only part that gets dirty is really just the bolt face. It's got a... Uh, like a pin in the front there which goes into a recess in the front there to put it back together I'm going to have to take that magazine tube just so it's not sticking into the receiver area let's turn that around Once you got it all back together you just slide the whole lot back up like that and drop the pin back in magazine tube back in look at this cross bolt safety you can hear it click I mean I don't like cross bolt safeties but I've got no problem trusting that one that's got a real positive action on it you don't normally dry fire 22 so you can actually decock this as you hold the trigger it decocks it. The reason you don't dry fire 22s or rim fires is because the shape of the the barrel, the extractors have to go and the, the extractor has to go down one side of the um, 
down the back down the side of the barrel and that edge of the barrel is very thin and so if you dry fire because it's a rim fire it's smacking that edge of that barrel and it actually carves into the barrel and takes a chunk out of it and it also um, flattens the end of the firing pin too so you get more wear and tear on it a lot more than well you don't really get wear and tear on a center fire so that's why you don't dry fire a, a rim fire Right, well, there she is. But anyway, that uh, that's very durable. That um, alloy receiver, that's just got like a um, hardened painted painted surface on it, which you can see gets a bit worn. But it's very durable. It's got um, slots at the top there for putting rings and a scope on it if you want. But I, I don't run a scope on this. I, I like this just for having fun and plinking cans and things which I find a little bit more challenging if you're just using the open sights a bit more fun got a nice little sling on here which kind of suits the style of the rifle but for me I like the 150 model I like it more than the 250 I like more of this traditional Winchester shape with a straight wrist what, what I call the American style uh, lever shape it sort of harks back to um, you know traditional Winchesters of the 1800s more of my favorite style right well, there you go Winchester model 150 like I said great little uh, rifle uh, very accurate and I love shooting it what's not to love about 22s little lever actions eh? they're great all right so I got some preparation to get going so I'll go up and uh, edit this video and put her up and uh, I hope to see you back again. More practical, not tactical. See you next time.